Okay, I'm going to use this model that one of my developers created to demonstrate texturing. We, to make sure we're using the textures uh, that are on the map here, we have these options. We're using the wall block. We make sure we're in faces mode here, not brushes, but faces. And we select the texture, the surfaces or faces that we want to texture. So we do shift click to select more than one. And you can see that there's many to choose from here. Got some little itty bitty ones. Shift click. Shift click. Got it. Okay, there's one more itty bitty little thing here. Shift click. Two more. No, I don't want that. Just this. Right there. Okay. And I see the bottom of this is different sizes than the top. So we're just going to go ahead and unify all of this as well. Zoom in here, select all those. I think we got it. Okay, so now then we click unify and now they all match and blend together just as if it's all one wall. However, you'll notice these blocks here on the front of the house are considerably larger than these blocks over here on their ledges. So we're going to change that by changing the numbers over here. We'll try point 0.3 and point 0.3 and see what that looks like. Does that compare? Maybe a little too large, too small. Let's try point 0.5 point five. Um, that's fairly comparable. You can see these bricks right here are matching up. So that works okay for us for what we need it to do. Um, if we want to add some more surfaces in right here just to make sure they're all the same, we can do that. These are all on the same x-axis. So we can actually choose these others here, and here, and here, and here, and all these here. Because those are looking really stretched up on the top there, if you'll notice. So we just shift-click, shift-click, and we've got all these same surfaces. And we can even do the back at the same time. And select that can only do this because it's the same direction. Right there. So now we've got these selected. And now we just click Unify once again. Now see it's changed it on us again. So we try point 0.5 again. And point 0.5. Now they're all the same and they all match then we can do that with the other sides. I'm going to start over again. So I, I'm not shift clicking for the first one. And after that, then I will shift click, shift click, shift click. And that selects multiple faces at the same time. So I do this. I might need to zoom in. I use the mouse wheel to zoom in. Uh, mouse wheel is fairly critical for 3D art. Every 3D art program I've used requires a mouse wheel. Um, so you really do need a that third button, uh, preferably a wheel, to do 3D art. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and do this one at the same time as well. And click all these. 
A lot of extra brushes here. This could really use some brush reduction. We're just gonna do that. And now then, we've got I think all of those, and we're gonna click Unify. And once again, it's a little too large of blocks for the size of the house that we've got, so we do 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and now they all match. So all the blocks are now the same. They match. Oh, I see somewhere else we could have added to this. So let's go ahead and do that now. Shift, shift, shift. And we're going to want to do this side too. So shift, shift, shift. There we go. Go ahead and unify it again. And change the size to 0.5 again. 0.5, enter. And there we go. So that's how we texture this. And you'll notice that our roof now no longer matches <laughs> our side blocks. And I say, those, those blocks don't look like they belong there anymore. So we do shift, shift, shift. And I just unselected it. Now we've got our roof and our floor. Now our floor, if you'll notice, has a different texture on it. So we'll want to make sure we apply the same texture by clicking that Apply button. So they've all got the same thing on it now. And that didn't have the right thing, so we click Apply. Now they've got it, and then we of course are going to have to do our 0.5 again, and 0.5 again. And now it all matches, except it's not unified. Now it's unified. And we lost our number again. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, enter. There we go. Now it's all matched. And we have a house that looks good both inside and out. Save it. I'm going to call it B2. Save and exit.